I'm here with the Minister for Education, the Member of Parliament for Bosutin, the Honorable Dr. Yao Osei Educho, sitting next to you. He has heard your request, and within the confines of his ministry's budget, the minister will work to address them. <clears throat> the office of the president will also help to give an appropriate birthday gift in the form of a new school bus. <laughs> As was requested by the guest speaker, the distinguished justice of the Supreme Court. In addition, yesterday, in addition, yesterday, the Deputy Minister for Education and Member of Parliament for Asin North, the Reverend Intim Fojo, commissioned a new girls' dormitory. Today, I will be commissioning a new six-unit science laboratory, two each, for biology, physics, and chemistry, as part of the anniversary celebrations. I'll convey to the Minister for Roads, and highways, the headmistress's request for an asphalted road network, and I'm confident that he will respond adequately. To you, dear students, your predecessors have set over the years high standards, and your duty is to raise the bar even higher. I urge you to take your, ser your studies seriously abide by school rules, and apply yourselves diligently in all you do so that you grow to become upright citizens of our country. Do enjoy your stay here, though, so that you leave with many happy memories, having made lifelong friends. All of you are beneficiaries of the free SHS policy. The students, as I say, I am proud to call the Akufuado graduates. The nation has made a huge investment in you because we believe in securing your future and the future of our beloved Ghana. This must spur you on to great heights to justify that investment. I have every confidence that you will rise to the occasion and make us all proud. The society and nation demand well-rounded individuals. But let me say, much as there are several women visible in the leadership of our nation, many of whom, as I pointed out earlier, are alumna of this school, such as Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu, the head of the judicial branch of government, the third arm of government, the third alumna of the school to occupy this elevated position. There is little doubt that there is room for considerable improvement. We have some way to go in meeting the 50-50 requirement in the executive, for instance, the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, but we should work towards it. It is a priority for you to embrace. I'm doing something about it, but I know I have to do much more. To the teachers and the supporting administrative staff who make it all happen, I say, are you called for the wonderful job you continue to do in the face of several obstacles? The nation is truly grateful. I also encourage parents and other stakeholders, including the Methodist Church, to continue to help nurture these young women to become creative, disciplined, independent-minded, productive, upright citizens of this country with an abiding belief in Almighty God. Let me, in conclusion, wish the administration, teaching and non-teaching staff, students and alumna of Wesley Girls High School, the very best of luck in the coming years. I'm certain that the achievements you are yet to chalk will surpass those of the last 187 years. Indeed, your best, like that of our beloved Ghana, is yet to come. And always remember to live pure, speak true, right wrong, and follow the King.